Well, well, well. I haven't made a video like this in a long time. Sitting at the park of small town Mount Olive, talking to the camera about my thoughts and feelings. I feel like I'm back in high school. So uh, let's get straight into it. I've got some news. It's the bittersweet news. I am quitting my job at the Gateway Cartplex. My last day is this Thursday. And I do not see myself racing uh, in Ignite Super Comp Majors Challenge for this season. I don't have any plans of it. Uh, and here's why. I've been offered a job with Skip Barber Racing School. So I'm excited to continue that awesome partnership with Skip Barber Racing. Uh, I will be shooting video and doing some other stuff behind the scenes with Skip Barber. Uh, not limited to uh, probably social media, marketing, driver coaching, a lot of stuff. Pretty much everything that I'm passionate about and they want me to do, I'm gonna do. And on top of that, I will be racing in the rest of the Skip Barber race series in their F4 cars. So, that's a lot to unpack. It's very bittersweet. Bitter that this is the end of a chapter with the Gateway Cartplex. I posted my season recap last year and at the end it had a little slide saying, this is not the end of my story, simply the end of a chapter. And it's because last year after winning Ignite, you can't, you can't keep racing Ignite at Gateway. I mean, you, you've already won a championship. You can only run so many races as a champion anyways. Like, I, don't, I didn't know what the next thing would be. Casey Neistat, one of my favorite YouTube vloggers, has this thing about, you know, life and you, about the fact that you never really make it. You, you, you see a mountain and you go climb it and you accomplish something and you get to the top of the mountain and you're expected to have a celebration, have a breath of fresh air, be comfortable. And what you're greeted with at the top of that mountain is another taller mountain. And in life, you can either be comfortable and stay where you're at, or peak the mountain and keep climbing and, and keep trying to get the most that you can out of life. And ever since I won Ignite, I've been at that plateau of being comfortable with nowhere to go. I had just graduated college with a mass comm degree in video production and I'm working at the Gateway Carplex as an outside manager working on rental carts and managing primarily high schoolers. It's, it's a fantastic place to work and I'm, I'm very grateful with my for my experience working at Gateway. But my education and my passions and my dreams and goals in life do not line up with me continuing working at the Gateway Carplex. And I got lazy with my job search. I am not uh, very glad to admit that. I would apply for jobs every once in a while and I gave up. I actually ended up getting a, a job accepted and it, it wasn't real. They just tried getting my information so they could steal all my stuff. So that kind of scared me a little bit to continue on and I don't think I really submitted anything much after that. I've just been kind of lazy unfortunately. But I've been very passionate about my YouTube channel and making videos and racing and being able to work with Skip Barber has been fantastic to be able to go and, and do these events with them and shoot video and have Matt Zagaitis with me and, and have a fantastic time and, and the people at Skip Barber are awesome and I love working with them and I had a conversation when I went to COTA of uh, when are you going to start working for us and in the back of my mind I had gone into that weekend thinking the exact same thing of like it'd actually be kind of cool to work with Skip Barber. And fortunately, the visions are lined up. Everything is a go. Everything just feels comfortable and everything feels correct. Comfortable as in my spirit with going forward with Skip Barber. It, it's going to be a challenge. I really haven't had a proper job where it is my duty to do what I want to do passion-wise. Shoot video uh, and make content and, and be in racing. Like, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity and it, it would have been something very stupid to let pass by me. So that's the bittersweet of it. It's, it's closing a chapter of my life at Gateway Cartplex and I'll still be around and I'll, I will probably eventually come back and do a race and I will, I will be embedded in the Cartplex family forever. But it's, it's very 
it's going to be a different thing for me to not be at Cartplex that much. And I, I will get homesick, for sure. Uh, but this opportunity is bigger and better. And, and you know, I, I look back on my life and high school, looking at it, after I just graduated, I'm like, this was so great. I'm sad, like it's all over. Like what's gonna be next for me? And, and then I found the Gateway Cartplex and, and I've given and I've taken everything that the Cartplex had, had, had to offer. I got so much more out of Cartplex than I ever could have dreamed. And closing this chapter of Cartplex feels a lot like when I graduated high school. And I just gotta think like this whole Skip Barber chapter is going to be it's gonna be better and bigger and, and epic. Yeah, I just wanna let you guys know because what has made me who I am and given me the opportunities is my passion for video and my passion for my YouTube channel. And it feels appropriate to keep you guys in the loop with what I've got going on. So just wanna let you guys know that and wanna thank everybody for that opportunity. It's just been super cool uh, to be able to bring you guys along with this journey and it's not stopping. It's it's continuing a lot further than I could have ever dreamed. Unfortunately, I kind of gave up on my dream of race car driver and when I got to Carplex, it, it was like, wow, this is cool. Like this is scratching the itch and got into iDrive and never thought I was gonna get an Ignite cart, got an Ignite cart and did the first season of Ignite. And thankfully, Greg Dingus worked out an awesome deal with me where I was able to do video stuff for Margay and stay in the cart and it was a win-win for me. and. To be able to learn everything, karting and video and general life advice from Greg. He's been a big mentor and supporter and just friend of mine that I will be forever grateful for. So thanks, thanks Greg. I know you're watching right now. I uh, gotta thank Keith Scharf for, first off, from the driver perspective, for giving us a facility like the Gateway Cartplex to, uh, for everyone out there to race and have this opportunity. And now with Margay and the USF deal, you can connect the dots from rental carts to IndyCar, which is insane. You know, rental carts, Ignite, getting taken up into the Ignite Autosport deal, climbing the road to Indy ladder to IndyCar, like what Spike and Evan are trying to do right now. So, you know, it's cool to have a small part in the Gateway Cartplex, which to see how much it's grown, the iDrive program, the Ignite program, and, and to feel like I've been a part of that, uh, it's been really super special and, and awesome to see. And a lot of that is Keith Scharf and, and helping run an awesome facility there. And as an employee of Gateway Carplex, it's been cool to work with Keith and help plan things and design things and take cool photos of Gateway 500 trophies that the wind eventually knocks over and breaks all but one trophy, which is a story that I don't think it's been told publicly. But uh, thanks for being cool about that, Keith, and not firing me. And thanks for not charging me for the barrier that I broke on my sixth or seventh visit because I was a reoccurring uh, or a revisiting customer and you wanted to keep keep bringing me there and keep taking my money and it's worked out so thanks for not charging me for that barrier and uh, to be able to you know even on the days where we just chit chat and you tell stories back of your cool SCCA racing days and and whatnot it's been uh, it's been awesome to also call him a friend as well so you know a lot of I mean, it's, it's tough to give those two all this, all this credit when there's a, a bucket list of, of just awesome people that I can just pour out. But uh, Matt Zagaitis for always being there and supporting me and videoing from Ignite to now all the Skip Arbor stuff. Mark Schwagen was always there from iDrive all the way up till now, just being a, a huge supporter, helping me mechanic, taking awesome photos and helping document everything that I've gone through. I mean, it's, it's, he's been an awesome supporter. Uh, oh my God! I mean, there's just so many people that I, I I simply cannot name everybody off the top of my head. Uh, it, it when they say it takes an army, it, it really does take an army, and there's been a lot of great people behind me. And you know, I always have liked to have said that it's been being at the right place and a lot of good luck. But you can't keep saying it's good luck when it keeps happening. So I, I do have to give myself a little bit of credit of hard work and and putting in the time and the effort to get the results. I could have never have thought that I would have made it to this opportunity. I never would have thought that, you know, in my mind, wanting to be a videographer, wanting to be a race car driver in motorsports, that it would ever actually happen. I thought I'd have to settle for like journalism or something else or be stuck at Napa, you know, selling car parts. And fortunately, everything's fallen 
in in the right spot at the right time. Uh, I, I I'm just very lucky and fortunate and and very blessed. But most importantly, the thanks goes to uh, my family, my parents for all their support and being on board with everything that I've got going on. And last but not least, all of you guys for uh, watching these videos and being there every step of the way. I mean, I documented my first time at the Gateway Carplex. You can go back and watch that video. You can see from then till now. I, I try to, I wanna be a role model for those young people that, you know, Maybe people were being too harsh and telling them that their dreams are unattainable and, and you know, you can't, you can't achieve it. And uh, I'm here to tell you that you can achieve anything. Uh, everything is achievable. So go out there and achieve the achievable. Don't know why that got so motivational there at the end. I needed to rebrand the ATA of ATA Network so that way it made sense. It's like, it's like watching a movie and I just said the movie title. So yeah, this video has probably gone on a little bit way too long, but just want to keep you guys in the loop. So if you haven't already, go subscribe to the Skip Barber Racing School YouTube channel. Watch the most recent video, the touring car video, uh, edited by yours truly, obviously. And uh, give it a like and comment and, and all that fun stuff on the Skip Barber Racing channel as well, because it's basically ATA Network 2 at this point. I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.